Racers, start your engines! All right, there you go, guys. There's Carl, happy birthday to Carl. He's seven years old today, and we're getting ready to go for the twin, the second twin 75 of the night. You look right behind the, our two leaders right there. All three of them are the young guns here behind the speedway. Connor Hall, Butterbee, and Tyler Ankrum. Right ne Tyler right next to that veteran five-time Langley Speedway champion, Danny Edwards. Three-time champion Greg Edwards chose to go to the outside on the restart, so that's going to put the two of Matt Waltz down on the bottom. Greg knows how fast that two is on the high side. That's a smart move on Greg's part. Keep pick, keep, keep pinch down. If Matt gets away from, if Matt gets away from, Matt will probably walk away from him. Let's we'll see what kind of start we're going to get for the second 75 lapper here at Langley Speedway. In the green flag from Shane Snyder, waving in the breeze. Greg gets a good start. Underway for 75 laps at Langley Speedway. And they're going to wave it. Waving the caution flag. And they said the 97 jumped the flag. So they will try it again. See if we can get a better start on the race. When the flag is waved, the green lights come on at the same time. Base truck is going to come in. Let's see what kind of start we can get on the second try. Mad Waltz down low, Greg on the high side, 77 Connor Hall down low, the 58 Tyler Ankrum on the outside group. You got Brendan Butterbean Queen and Danny Edwards 26. Good start. They're door to door, wheel to wheel at the exit of two for the lead. The two down low, Matt Waltz, Greg on the high side, the 97 slips up just a little bit that time between three and four, and it's a drag race. It's on. And look at Butterbean closing in. Butterbean in third position. Greg shoots up on the high side again, stays tough on that outside groove, and makes the pass on Matt Waltz. Greg's car really likes that new motor. Danny looking to the outside of Butterbean falls back in line in fourth. Yeah, he really does. That thing's green with the uh, setup on that race car. He's about a car length and a half ahead of the two of Matt Waltz. Then it's Butterbean, Danny Edwards, and Connor Hall in the top five in the 77. Tyler Ankrum right there on the back end of that 77. And all over the back bumper, the 58, 55, Mark Wirtz, Dwayne Shreves, Terry Carroll, the 91 of Justin Carroll, and Casey Wyatt. Casey looks a little bit better this race. And Danny's looking really looking good the second race also. Danny had a good car the last half of the second heat. Mark Wirtz also looking a little bit faster. The Dunkin' Donuts 55 closing in once again on the 58 of Tyler Ankrum. He's got two young guns just ahead there, Sammy. The 77 and 58. Yes, he does. They're saying how Mark Wirtz, they're saying ahead of a guy that's run a million laps on this racetrack too. Yep. Got a lot of young talent out here. It's going to be an interesting season next year to see what these guys can do. Yes, Kate, they'll be better. They'll be a lot better next year than they are this year. We are seven laps into the 75 lap event. Greg Edwards leading the way by a car length and a half over the two of Matt Waltz. And it's about four or five back to the zero three of Brendan Queen. But Matt's using that outside groove, Sammy. He's coming up to challenge Greg. Yeah, that's great. That's Matt's groove. He stay, he, he, Greg can keep him up. If Greg can keep him behind him, he'll be, he'll be doing good. He gets a good bite at the exit of two, closes in within a half a car length on the 97 3, the Eagle Chevrolet. Waltz Engineered Sales, number two, right on the back bumper of Greg. He knows it's his best chance to make the pass early in the race. Greg tries to block a little bit, uses that high groove that Matt likes to run. Look how high Greg goes. goes Matt. Matt takes advantage of it, dives down low, makes the pass for the lead. Matt Waltz, new leader on lap 10. Greg thought he was going to block him and ended up giving him an open groove to get down on the bottom of the racetrack. Now Matt's got to be careful or Greg can do it to him. Matt Waltz, Greg Edwards, Brendan Queen, Danny Edwards, Connor Hall, top five. 
Then Mark Wirtz, Tyler Ankrum, Dwayne Shreves, Terry Carroll, Justin Carroll, Casey Wyatt, Michael Harden, Evan Horn, and Bruce Livingston. Casey's starting to reel off some fast laps. Leader of this race, turning laps of an average of 86 miles an hour. Tyler Ankrum and Dwayne Shreves just ran their fastest laps of the race. And they're back there in seventh and eighth. Casey Wyatt picks up another position, makes the pass on Justin Carroll. And Casey up to 10th. So whatever adjustments they made, definitely working for the 92. He's got a little better car than he had last race. Greg hanging right with the two of Matt Waltz for the lead. About a car length and a half off the back end. Now Greg's trying to get his rhythm back and using the groove that works for him best. He probably should have stayed in that groove when he was black trying to block Matt. If he stayed down there, Matt couldn't have got around him. The only thing is, with Matt using that high groove, if he goes up a little bit too high, Greg's going to take advantage of it. He's working him down on the bottom as we speak. And these two guys, about 10 car lengths ahead of Butterbean in the 03, back in third spot, then Danny Edwards and Connor Hall, top five in the 77. Danny now working on Butterbean for that third spot, as Greg, his brother, challenges the two again for the lead on lap 17. Really is good to see Danny Edwards back here at Langley Speedway and being very competitive like he used to be all the time. And he's up there challenging Butterbean. Brendan, for that third spot, looks on the inside that time. Might be nudging him a little bit. Butterbean knows he's there. Now he feels that he's there to the inside. Halfway up next to the 0-3 of Brendan Queen, it is the 26 Danny's Glass Chevrolet making the pass. Danny Edwards in third position. Tight group of cars here, the 26, the 03, 77, 55, and 38. Danny Edwards, Brendan Queen, Connor Hall, Mark Wirtz, and Tyler Ankrum. And that is third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Great race between these guys. Tell you what, we get a caution flag. Look out for that 26. Yeah, that car, that car's gonna make a big difference because he's running about the same speed as the leaders are right now. Yeah, Danny just a, uh, a few hundredths of a second off the leader's pace. Greg Edwards and Matt Waltz. Average speed, or the best speed for these drivers up there in the top three, 86 to 85 miles an hour. Some of these drivers qualified with some of these speeds these guys are running, 16.4. And look at the 55. Mark Wirtz coming up to challenge the 77 of Connor Hall. Connor trying to block him a little bit. Mark Wirtz slips a little bit. This allows Tyler Ankrum to close in on the back bumper of Mark Wirtz for that sixth position. Looking on the inside of Wirtz now. Wirtz was trying to race with a 77. Now he's got his hands full with a 58. Well, Matt Waltz trying to stretch out that lead a little bit, Sammy. He's got about four car lengths between himself and Greg Edwards now in the 97.3, the Eagle Chevrolet. It looks like Matt's moved a little bit higher up on the racetrack. He's keeping that motor wound up. So he's got a good bike coming off. At 77A, Bruce Livingston, he's about to go a lap down along with the six of Evan Horn. Matt Waltz will have to be careful how he gets by these two guys so that Greg does stay behind him. I guess it's all in where you catch that lap traffic. Yes, he's just... Bruce like pulls over. Both gonna get out of the way. Good job, good sportsmanship shown.
Now, Ned Waltz, he caught the six where he needed to. Greg being held up just a little bit as he was trying to exit the corner of four and had that six down on the bottom of the racetrack where he wanted his car to be. So it's about eight to 10 car lengths at times between the two and the 97 now, first and second. Almost a half a straightaway back to the Danny's last 26. And yeah, Matt must have made some good adjustments at the break. Because he's really fast in second race. And he's still using that high groove on the racetrack, not as low as some of the cars on the bottom like Greg. But Matt's been up there all year, just like that. He's been up there second groove all year. He found the bite up there and got it early. Got his car working up there. It's been him a couple of times having to run up there, but usually he wins up there. Dunkin' Donuts 55, Mark Wirt still working over the 77 of Connor Hall for that position. Six, Evan Horn, slow on the racetrack. Caution flag is out. Evan Horn will take his car into the pits. And some lights out on the back straightaway, it looks like. At the exit of uh, two, you can see where it's a lot darker than it was. Budweiser, big sponsor here at Langley Speedway, and we are set to turn them loose again, even though we have the lights still coming back in turn number two. Driver said they will take it, and they're ready to race. Greg Edwards on the inside, Matt Waltz on the high side, Butterbean to the outside, and Danny Edwards down low behind his brother Greg in the 97, and a good bite at the exit of two for Matt Waltz. Matt Waltz stays ahead of Greg Edwards, Butterbean trying to hold off the challenge of Danny Edwards. Casey Wyatt sideways out of four. He's racing with the 55 of Mark Wirtz. They're also racing for third in the points. Great battle at the exit of two that time. And Danny Edwards trying to stay glued on the bottom of the racetrack to the inside of Butterbean as they race for that third position. It's getting tight at the exit of two. Down the back straightaway, once again for that third position, Danny Edwards sticks it in hard on the inside of the 0-3 of Butterbean. A little bit further back, Mark Wirtz gets by the 77 of Connor Hall. Danny's still working to the inside of Butterbean. Tyler Rankham in the 58, up there in the top five, watching these two race. And a great battle between Casey Wyatt, the 77 of Connor Hall, 38 Wayne Shreves, and the 90 of Terry Carroll. Top two, Matt Waltz and Greg Edwards. Matt leads Greg by two car links on the back straightaway. Dwayne Shreves working the inside of the 77 of Connor Hall. A little bit of contact might have been made there between three and four. Well, Butterbean's another one been using a high groove all year long too. And he's holding off the challenge of Danny Edwards for the moment. Danny's now got his hands full of that 58 of Tyler Ankrum. Well, Tyler ain't afraid to stick it in there, and neither is Greg Edwards closing in on our leader, Matt Waltz in the two. Well, this is a much better race than the first one. There goes Greg working to the inside, trying to make the pass on Matt Waltz. These two guys fighting it out for the championship and fighting it out for this race. The second 75 lapper for CDL.com and Thomas Nelson Community College Night of the Races. Great battle up for the front. 
40 laps out of 75. It's Matt Waltz, Greg Edwards, Brendan Queen, Danny Edwards, and Tyler Ray from top five. Then you got Mark Wirtz, Dwayne Shreves, Connor Hall, Terry Carroll, Casey Wyatt, top 10. Greg working it again, Sammy. And look at this, three wide there for a second between one and two. Tyler Ankrum thought better about it. Got out of the gas, and Danny continues to race with Butterbean for that third spot. But Danny's glass Chevrolet. Tyler thought about making it three wide again. And Greg working over the two for the lead. Greg staying right in his tire tracks through the corner. Watch him. He's right in that second groove with Matt. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna get him underneath sooner or later. So one of them's gonna make a mistake. So far, it's been clean between these two, the two in the 97. Matt Waltz staying a bumper ahead of the 97 of Greg Edwards. Danny Edwards about to pass Butterbean. He will take over the third Here spot. He goes. The two slips up. Greg Edwards takes the lead at the exit of four on lap 44. New leader, Greg Edwards, looking to get two wins tonight. He's pulled away two car lengths ahead of the two of Matt Waltz. A full straightaway back to Danny Edwards, Brendan Queen, and Tyler Ankrum. Not giving up. He's to the inside of Butterbean. Look, Greg's staying up in that second groove now. He's got some fat Matt found Matt's line. He knows it's faster. You follow him long enough, you'll learn where they run. And he's currently in that same groove that the two was, Matt Waltz. A little bit further back, some great racing. We've got Mark Wirtz trying to make the move on Butterbean. Got Casey, so, got Casey that seven car running side by side. And just ahead, they're also side by side. We got Terry Carroll, the 90, making the pass on Dwayne Shreves. And now Casey on the high side of the seven of Michael Harden. I think Casey Wyatt must have raced side by side more times this year with more drivers than any other out here. And he's been on the inside and the outside. He doesn't have any preference where he runs side by side at. Hey, look, Matt Waltz closing in on Greg Edwards again for the lead of the race now. Right on the back bumper between three and four. Can he make the move? It's lap 50 coming up. 25 to go. And it's heating up again for the lead of the race. Greg Edwards, the 97.3, the Eagle car, and the Waltz engineered sales number two, Matt Waltz. It's going to be interesting to see if Matt bumps Greg or not, because Greg did bump him in the middle of three and four to get by. And I just talked about how they had raced each other so clean. <laughs> it, was a, it was a clean bump. It was a racing bump. It, it didn't was, do anything yeah. wrong. It was nice and clean. Right. And it may have been Matt hit the brake a little bit and Greg hit him, but I mean, he did touch him in the back. That's what made Matt slide up. But whatever happened, it doesn't look like Greg's able to get away from the two now, Matt Waltz. And Tyler Ankrum comes up and challenges the veteran five-time Langley Speedway champion, Danny Edwards, for that third spot. It's hard to believe that boy's only 15 years old. It really is. Well, he's gaining some experience by racing one of the best out here to the inside of Danny. Now look at this. Matt Waltz shoves Greg up the racetrack. He will take the lead back. The two back to the lead. Matt Waltz. He goes up high, drifts up high between one and two to keep Greg on the high side, but not in the groove that he wanted. It's getting a little physical up front, Sam. I, I don't think that's the last time you're going to see that tonight. <laughs> He must be psychic. <laughs> there goes Greg again. He's got the nose of his car almost halfway up next to the two. Had to get out of it to get a good bite at the exit of two. What a great race between these two. Greg's trying to get back in his rhythm a little bit. Pulls up halfway up next to the two, battling for the lead. Tyler Ankrum currently back there in the third spot ahead of the 26 of Danny Edwards. And then the top five shaping up again for Mark Wirtz. All right, Sammy, here we go again. Greg down on the bottom. Both of these guys, very talented. And once again, they're not just racing for the race. They're racing for the championship, folks. The most wins for the two, Matt Waltz, and six for Greg Edwards. 
And it's anybody's guess on who's going to be the winner in victory lane at the end of this one. It's lap 58 of 75. Greg, once again, searching the bottom of the racetrack. They've got a lap car coming up into play. Evan Horn in the sixth, back in 13th position. Greg trying to get his car on the bottom. Can't quite make it happen that time. Matt Walt stays ahead. And now Matt will have to try and use that six as a pick. Not enough room to do it. 15 laps to go. I see the iPhones lighting up. People want to get a little bit of this on video. Team racing videos covering every inch. And here we've got Greg Edwards trying to hunt down the lead again from the two of Matt Waltz. Matt's able to pull ahead just a bit, but Greg closes in. In between three and four, gets to the inside of Matt, but Matt again holds off the fight. Now between one and two, Greg Edwards, his car halfway up next to that two. He's got the bumper of his front bumper every time between one and two, right up next to the number two on Matt Waltz. Still glued to the inside of the two. Matt Waltz gets a good bite every time at the exit of two and four and rockets out of those turns to stay ahead of Greg Edwards. 64 out of 75 laps, not the time you'd want to go to the concession stand and grab a hot dog. Man, this is good stuff. Greg right up to the back bumper, just about gets into him that time between three and four. The 97.3, the Eagle car all over the two, Mad Waltz. They've been the best drivers all year long in 2014. Greg and again, Mad Waltz. The lead of the race up for grabs. Mad Waltz, Greg Edwards, Tyler Ankrum, Danny Edwards, and Mark Wirtz top five. Greg had the front end of his car up to the wheel, the back wheel on the two to the inside. That 58's made up a lot of ground the last few laps. He's probably the fastest car in the racetrack right now. We might have a surprise winner if these two get together. Tyler Ankrum, 14 years old, closing in on these two for the lead. Now he's within a half a car length as Greg Edwards gets into the two, got him sideways. Tyler Ankrum takes advantage of it, dives underneath both of them. He will get the lead in between turns one and two. Tyler Ankrum, new leader at Langley Speedway. Possibly a new winner, Tyler Ankrum, that 58, 14 years old, to the inside of the two of Matt Waltz. Zero three, Butterbean slows up. Now it's a side-by-side -side battle with only five laps to go next time by. Door to door and wheel to wheel, Tyler Ankrum in the two of Matt Waltz. Wow, I didn't see this coming, did you, Sammy? Coming either. No, he's got a lot of bite off on the bottom too, that 58 though. Woo! Five laps to go, side-by-side -side battle with a 58 and the two, Matt Waltz. Matt Waltz pulls ahead of Tyler Ankrum. Tyler, you know he wants to win this thing bad. It might get physical before it's over with. It's gonna be an interesting white flag lap. 71 laps up in lights now. And Tyler Ankrum not giving up, pulls up halfway up next to the two of Matt Waltz, who rockets out of turn number two to stay ahead of that 58. What a race. Greg Edwards back to third spot. Tyler's hoping that Greg doesn't come up and decide to race with him, but I tell you what, Matt Waltz looks like he might get the victory here in three laps. Still strong. Yes, he is. That young 14-year-old's give him all they can handle tonight. Matt Waltz, Tyler Ankrum, Greg Edwards, Danny Edwards, Mark Wirtz top five, then Connor Hall, Dwayne Shreves, Terry Carroll, Casey Wyatt ninth, and Michael Harden top ten. White flag to be displayed in the windshield of Matt Waltz. He's going to need a nice cold drink of water after this one. This is one of the most physical races we've seen in a long time. And Tyler Ankrum, 14 years old, trying to hold off three-time Langley Speedway champion Greg Edwards. Here goes the checkered flag. It's Matt Waltz who wins. Tyler Ankrum second, Greg Edwards third position. What a race. Unbelievable for the lead and great job by Tyler Ankrum to come up there and challenge two of the best this entire season.
great job. Danny Edwards fourth in the 26. Mark Wirtz in the top five in the 55. Connor Hall, the 77. Dwayne Shreves in 38. Terry Carroll, the 90 and eighth. Casey Wyatt in ninth after having his problems tonight. Comes back to ninth. Michael Harden in the seven and 10th. Butterbean slips back to 11th. Then you got Bruce Livingston, the 77A, Evan Horn in the six, and Justin Carroll, the 91. We always say it when they get out. You work for that one. Yes. He, he definitely worked for this one. He drove the wheels off in this one. And he's never raced the 58 for the lead. He didn't know how he was going to race him. But a great job by everybody involved. Matt, Tyler, and Greg Edwards on a great race at Langley Speedway. But the winner for tonight... For the comps to Verizon Wireless Late Model Stock Cars is going to be Matt Waltz. He wins the second twin of the night. He's going to take a quick swig of water. Come join me, Matt. I'm pretty sure you got a lot to say. <laughs> well, definitely after a interesting night the Hampton Heat you come back here and you make it even more interesting but this time in a good way uh, no one can see you didn't earn this win because you were battling two other people almost the entire race but you brought it here in victory lane congratulations yeah thank you I appreciate it it was just an awesome race there with Greg and uh, man we were going so hard there and it was, it was wearing me out but uh, it was fun it's awesome hope uh, I hope all the fans enjoyed it for sure and um, I just gotta thank all the guys thank mom and dad uh, they're not here tonight. They might be watching um, on internet, but you gotta thank them. And sorry they couldn't be here for our uh, win number nine, but thank them. Waltz Engineered Sales, Dab County Incorporated, um, J2 Performance, Billy Banks Racing Engines, and uh, just everybody, everybody involved and in helped me get here. Well, congratulations, to Matt Waltz, for winning tonight. He will. Take a few pictures now with Thomas Nelson Community College and Forest CDL and enjoy his ninth win of the season.